Hello and welcome to my 2001 Isuzu Rodeo that we have converted into a mini camper. In this video, we are going to discuss how we sort of built our camper and what tutorials we sort of followed and updated. Um, right now the sun is in it, so you'll get a much better view of it later in the video. My dad and I have been loving van life videos for about a year now, and instead of buying a old cheap sprinter van or any sort of other camper we decided it would just be cheaper and quicker to just outfit our 2001 Isuzu Rodeo which I have had since I was 16 into a mini camper for us to take on the road. There was a video that we watched that convinced us that this was a great idea and that was the video of Explorer Steve doing a um I think it's a Toyota 4Runner I think it was a 1996 Toyota 4Runner um, he did a very similar um, sort of layout. Um, we sort of used his um, storage area ideas and then we kind of ran with it and got crazy with our um, with our design. So without any more explanation than that, let's jump into the video. All right, so the first thing that we did was we took out the carpeting in the back of our car and then we assessed what kind of bolt holes we had for um, attaching our subfloor to the base of the vehicle. We also knew that we were gonna take out the back seats of the car so that we had more space for storage and we would build that into the subfloor as well. We also definitely needed an upgrade on our carpet because it was very stained from the first owner. Definitely have no idea what those puddles are. Anyways, this was our Lowe's trip, our very first one to get all the things that we thought we might need. Um, this is the bulk of the material that we used and it wasn't actually that much. So this is how we did our insulation and our subfloor base. Um, we used Explorer Steve's video as a reference for this. We used this aluminum tape here to make sure there were um, no air bubbles or pockets um, and that the subfloor was protected. We used this butcher paper to sort of map out the curve of the flooring so that we could then lay that on our wood and cut it out correctly the first time. <laughs> this was very handy throughout the entire build. Here is our floor. It's partially cut already, as you see. I think this is a skill saw that we ended up using. And so in the car, we have a two by four where the seats used to be to sort of hold everything up and make sure that we know um, that it's level. This is right after we finished cutting our deck. It looks awesome. And then we used this wipe on poly to, um, to seal the top of the flooring and protect it from water and um, dirt and all that stuff, as well as um, making sure I didn't get any splinters or take any chunks out of it. All right, so there it is with the holes cut out and the tops for our little access hatches. And that is the base that goes underneath the floor for our storage areas and we're going to paint it green. So we've got everything in the car at this point and we did end up painting the green and I really love it. I think it looks awesome. Yeah, so we're going to hinge these um, and that will make the floor continuous. There I am. Hi. So it was a little bit of a challenge to um, cut out the curves on the side of that wood, but we used cardboard just like we did for our closet, which you'll see in just a second. As we start to build the um, side storage units, as you can see on the right, we use the cardboard to cut the uh, initial curve and then trace it onto the wood and we're making it square. So we knew that we wanted a sink in the build, so we knew that our tabletop had to have a sink hole. Um, we used, I think, a skill saw and a router for this job. Um, they were a little jumpy, but um, overall I think it worked out. The little hole there is for our um, fresh water pump 
which I will talk about a little more later. Cutting the hole in the bottom of this bowl that I got from the white elephant sale um, was actually very hard because I thought it was an aluminum bowl, but actually it was an aluminum bowl sealed with porcelain, so that made it a little more likely to crack. As you can see, I used the wipe on poly on the tabletop as well as the floor. It just did a great job of sealing everything. And that's the other side of the storage units, uh, top and side, um, with our access area. All right, now everything is in. As you can see, we painted um, the storage area is green and we've got our plumbing started. Um, my dad really was into this plumbing idea to, to use up the space next to the wheel well, and I think it's a great idea. Um, this is our water pump. It's usually a water pump that goes on a five gallon water jug that you would get at the store just for camping, but we hooked it up to our fresh water tank. And the side here had a um, measurement to make sure the tank wasn't overflowing. For the gray water, we just used this oil can thing that we got at O'Reilly's and hooked up the hose to it so that it, our gray water would flow down into that area. And this is the inside of the closet. And as you can see, I made some reflectics and painted the inside of it white. And the this is the fabric that we decided to use for our curtains. I got all fancy there with the, with the footage. <laughs> so I really love these curtains and I actually did not realize that they were succulents until the lady at Joann's was like, I love succulents. And I was like, me too. So here's me cringily demonstrating how the um, locking cabinets work. So this is our little, um, like our, I've been calling them hatches. They're little storage areas and they have locking baby locks um, where they hinge, just in case I wanted to store anything valuable. And we put that one in the middle so that I could reach it from the driver's seat as well as from standing where I am on the passenger side. And both of the locks have a button that will actually turn off the locking feature, so I actually don't have to lock them at all times. Now for the bed, we went a little bit extra and we um, ordered a brand new piece of high density five inch foam. Um, then we had to cut it to size and we just used a um, turkey cutting knife actually. And I made the sheets as well um, for this build. It was a real DIY, so. Thank you so much for watching the video about my beautiful 2001 Isuzu Rodeo. I really appreciate you watching and I hope that you were inspired to go build your own van. Um, like I said before, this project was not super expensive. We used a car that we already had and um, we're very, very proud of it. So, so this video is specifically to show you how we built the van um, and the specifics about like what we did to get to this. I plan on having more videos where we talk about all of the little things like how I made the curtains, how I made the reflectix. Um, when I upgrade, uh, I'm still working on this van. So once I build the uh, blackout curtains and once I get all of my things like our um, roof rack situated, I'll do another video on how we outfitted our um, mini, mini camper. So if you would like to see that video in the future, please do subscribe to my channel. Um, give this video a little like, share it with your friends because who doesn't love a micro camper or a van life tribute? Because look how cute. We love it. <laughs> Again, thank you for watching um, and I hope you enjoyed. Please leave any questions or comments that you have in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer any of the specific questions or I'll make another video about them. All right, thank you for watching.